We're very happy to have this in our collection. It came to us from Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, it was a firm, a uh, uh, museum that went out of business during the recession. And all 30 of their cars had to be sold off. And 10 museums, of which we were a part, got together as a consortium and bought the cars in mass so that nothing would be scrapped. As you can imagine, a 30 car collection is a few that are, you know, chicken coops and whatnot. So everything went back to different museums. And so we got this car along with a second Serrano PCC car, and we're very happy to have it. It's a real proud. Please. It's an air electric car, which means it has air brakes. Tickets, please. It does not have safety <laughs> controls like modern cars. You must have two people to operate it. So in other words, if anything were to happen to me, it wouldn't come to a stop unless he came. I would, came. I would, I would throw gallop, me out of the way. Gallop, mm -hmm. right up to the bow here. Toss me over the side and just pull the car, bring the car to a stop. In the name of Probably cool. And the same principle to put there's electricity, 600 volts direct current. It's our voltage, standard voltage. Electricity flows through that wire and you can't see it. But when you draw the current through the motors, it's coming down that trolley pole, going down an insulated conduit. You're not going to get shocked talking, touching the metal. It goes underneath the car to these controls. We have controllers at each end, so they're both set up for that. And what that does is it passes electricity through a grid. As I, as I turn the controller, I'm cutting out resistance to the flow of electricity so more, more current will flow. And that's the idea behind a streetcar. And current actually goes out through the rails. But if you step on the tracks, you won't get electrocuted. The only way you can do that is if you're 16 feet tall, barefoot on a wet day, you put your bare feet on the rails and touch the wire. That'll do it. But no, otherwise you won't get a shot. That's why Pepco tells you don't touch down wires. It's the same idea. You're completing a path of ground. So the electricity flows from the wire through the car and back to the rails, back to the powerhouse. We generate our own electricity, stepping down voltage we get from Pepco. It's a different voltage. We have to do things to it. I won't go into all of that. But we do uh, augment the, uh, the power that we get from Pepco. And you said earlier that the, the connector up there has to be switched if you're going to use a car back and forth. Yeah, we'd have to turn that pole right. around. Oh, so. But you're not on this because you're no. close and so we have a, loop. No, so we have a retriever. Yeah, the other end, it has to get, have to rep and then attach it here. So not all double in car. This is a double in car, meaning it could run in either direction, just just changing the seats. But most double in cars have two poles, so you would only put one pole down, put the other one up. This one only has a center pole. You have to rotate it. It's a little more work. Any other questions? We're gonna do that when we get back to the car. Yeah, yeah, we are. <laughs> we are, aren't we? <laughs> it's not. It's the least fun part of this job. Any other questions? If not, we'll head back. But I do have to have everybody seated, properly seated. British properly seated. Yeah. I don't imagine it's open.